Welcome to the Mega Photoshop Tutorials. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a rain effect. This is the result of the work. I am going to work with this realistic photo. I downloaded this one from Pixabay. I provided this image that you can download, the link is located in my video's description. Before I begin please click that small subscribe button at the lower right corner to let you know as soon as I've uploaded new Photoshop tutorials. So let's get started. Head up to file, then click open. Select the image that we are going to use as a background, then hit open. First, I'm going to decrease the brightness of the background because it looks too bright to me. To do this I'll use the quick selection tool and I will make the selection in a quick way. Then open the image menu, select adjustments and choose levels. In this panel we have the output levels. In adjust highlight output level, I will choose 100. Then I will blur the background, to do this, open the filter menu, choose blur, then Gaussian blur. Radius 4 pixels is a good choice. Use the select menu or control, command plus D for deselect. Now let's create the rain, to do this, create a new layer and fill it with the black. Then go to filter, noise, add noise and make the amount 20%, the distribution, Gaussian. And monochromatic, checked. Once you added the noise, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Angle minus 75, distance 45 pixels is a good choice. Then we go to Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer, and select Levels from the list. With the Levels panel, we will try to make the raindrops look real and in harmony with the picture. To do this I will make Adjust Shadow Input Level, 11 Adjust Midtone Input Level, 1.5 Adjust Highlight Input Level, 200 Highlight Output Levels, 200 Then we put this layer on lighten mode. Now I will add more raindrops. To do this, add a new layer, choose the white color. Select the brush tool and select pointillist effect brush. Adjust the size to 80 pixels, and draw points like this. Then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Angle minus 75 degree. Distance 60 pixels is a good choice. Finally, I will add the raindrop effect on the clothes. To do this I will create a new layer and use the brush tool again in this way.
then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and apply 1.5 pixels as radius. Remember to dampen light colored clothes with the appropriate color, brush tool with low opacity. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to subscribe in my channel.